All right, welcome out uh, everyone to, uh, the, to a business opportunity overview of doTERRA. So I'm uh, Rod Richardson, I'm a blue diamond in doTERRA and I've been with doTERRA now as of 2021 uh, for over 11 years. Uh, and I've managed to uh, be a part of a team that is growing now. It's uh, about 150,000 people spread across uh, 57 countries across the world. Uh, and uh, so we've had the opportunity to share uh, with a lot of people uh, the amazing business opportunity that is uh, doTERRA. So I'm going to take a moment here to switch screens uh, so that we can go through uh, the new business opportunity document that we just created. Um, so the doTERRA business uh, would look uh, something like this. And we, uh, we start with a story. Uh, that we call buckets and pipelines. And in this story uh, portrays uh, a woman that lived uh, in a village that was a couple of miles away from the closest water source. And her job every day was to haul buckets. So she would go to the water source, uh, get the buckets, uh, fill her buckets with water and bring them back for her family. Uh, and she realized that other people in the village also needed water. And so she decided to make a small business out of that. And so she started making more trips, uh, hauling buckets as much as she could, uh, bringing water back to the village in which they would pay her for, uh, for those buckets. But over time, she realized that there was a limit to the number of buckets that she could haul uh, because it was basically limited because of her, her time. And, uh, and, and so as she did that, she thought to herself one day, you know, if I built a pipeline, then the water would come to the village and I could sell the water directly without having to haul uh, buckets back and forth. And so she committed herself to that process. She hauled buckets during the day uh, and then during her extra time, she used her extra time and resources uh, and she began to construct her pipeline. Of course, over time, she realized uh, uh, that uh, as she completed that pipeline, the day finally came that she didn't have to haul buckets anymore. And she began selling uh, her, her water direct and she could sell as much water as she wanted. Uh, and she didn't have to haul a single bucket uh, to do that. Now, in comparison, when we think about how we make money, um, most of us uh, probably are hauling buckets. And that becomes the big question. How are you earning? Are you hauling buckets or are you creating a pipeline? And of course, uh, creating a pipeline is what creates freedom. And freedom is probably what most of us are seeking. And it's probably a lot of why we've come to take a look at the doTERRA business opportunity. Interestingly, there's only a limited number of ways that you can create pipeline type money. And that's money that uh, generates with or without you. Um, and, and so on the right side of the screen here, uh, we've created a little chart that shows how much money you would have to save in a, an account that earns at least 5% interest. So, so some sort of investment that generates at 5% interest and it's a monthly cash flow or residual income that it would create. So for example, if I invested $12,000 at a 5% earning interest rate, that would uh, generate approximately $50 in residual income every month. So if you're thinking about retirement, for example, and you're thinking how much money would I need to retire, uh, I would need to know uh, how much money I would have to produce on a monthly basis um, that, uh, uh, how much money I would have to save in order to create my desired amount of monthly income. So if I needed to make say $5,000 a month to sustain myself on my own residual in order to not have to work anymore, uh, then as you can see, that would take about $1.2 million of investment earning at 5% in order to create that $5,000 a month. Uh, and of, of course, that's, uh, that's a lot of money. And that would take, uh, that would take probably a, a lifetime in order to create uh, that much savings. Uh, for example, if you were to say, I could save $100,000 a year for the next 12 years, 
then that would create that $5,000 residual income. That's, uh, that's a lot of savings. And of course, most of us can't do that. Most people are probably lucky to save a couple hundred dollars uh, a month. Uh, and if you were able to do that, of course, you can see that the time frame for creating a uh, residual would be very long. Um, and so, uh, so it becomes increasingly important to look for ways that we can create uh, a business that we can do maybe in, uh, alongside of our job that can create uh, extra money or even a residual income or reoccurring revenue, as it were. So uh, in our business opportunity here is going to demonstrate basically how you can create a residual income worth a lot of money. Uh, in a shorter period of time. Now, in building an income with doTERRA, uh, it's important to know who your business partner is. Because when you join a company uh, like doTERRA, uh, doTERRA becomes your business partner. And so there's th uh, four specific points that make doTERRA a strong consideration for you. One is, is we have an incredible product line. Our, our product line is really comprehensive. Uh, it's easy to use and it serves an amazing variety of health uh, needs. And primarily the purpose of the company is to uh, help, help our customers and clients have first class products to increase our health and well being and maintain a really healthy lifestyle so that we have good quality of life for as long as we possibly can. Uh, and that's the purpose of our product line as to do that, provide some of the world's purest products, um, most exclusively sourced uh, products, uh, and basically a product line that you can't really get anywhere. Uh, and so that's, that's the primary uh, thing is the value of our product. The other thing that makes a business opportunity really um, important is, uh, is the company proven. Now doTERRA has been in business now for coming on 14 years. And uh, of course, it's privately held, it's debt free, uh, it's expanding, the, it's expanded the world. Um, we have uh, several million customers already that we've been serving. And, uh, and so as a result, the company's already proven. We have an incredible management team that's run multi-billion dollar companies before. And uh, doTERRA is continuing to grow and expand all over the world with new countries opening uh, every year. In fact, this year, um, there are uh, three companies on the docket uh, for uh, opening, one of those countries being India, for example, uh, which is an amazing large market. Um, the other part that's important uh, with a good business partner is understanding how you get compensated and whether or not that plan is generous enough uh, to reward great behavior. Um, is the plan set up in a way that it can create uh, long-term growth, sustainable growth, and, uh, and actually be a true residual. In other words, do our customers stick around? Now, doTERRA has about a 65% retention rate, which is an industry record uh, type of retention rate. And if you know anything about residual income, it's it comes from the sell of products and the resale of products. So if I, retention rate means basically, if I have a customer that buys, are they going to continue to rebuy? Uh, doTERRA ran a study and found that over 70% of all accounts that have ever been created still order at least annually. Um, and of course, uh, we have 64% uh, or so that order uh, regularly, which should be like at least every quarter. Now, that's what creates a true residual. If your product is so good that your customers stick with us uh, and continue to order products. Now, the other part that's really important about doTERRA and what they do, and it's the difference that we make in the world. And so we have two aspects to that. We have what's called co-impact sourcing, uh, which is a, uh, a, social, a socially ethical way of using our product sourcing to benefit um, uh, different areas of the world that might uh, need economic uh, prosperity and opportunity to come to their lands. Uh, and so because we have a land-based product, uh, that, that requires farming and agriculture, we're able to go anywhere in the world. And so we use our co-impact sourcing to create micro farming opportunities in third world countries and uh, in even first world countries uh, where we can use uh, incredible impact with our marketing power. doTERRA is the largest essential oil company in the world. 
and we are the main source uh, of oil purchasing of people that use essential oils throughout the world. Uh, and so we use that incredible horsepower to benefit different communities and countries uh, where we can make the most difference in the world. Now we pair that with healing hands. Now, a lot of companies might have a nonprofit, for example, a cause that they support, but in doTERRA, our cause is actually embedded in everything that we do. And so healing hands and co-impact sourcing work together. And so when we go into a farm community, say in Kenya, Africa, um, we're, uh, we're actually uh, using healing hands and co-impact sourcing to affect things like humanitarian uh, or anti-human trafficking and uh, clean water solutions, uh, disaster relief, uh, education and empowerment for women, uh, global health issues, and building hospitals and clinics uh, where there's no medical access, uh, self-reliance uh, and supporting uh, children and their opportunity to, to have a good high quality of life. And, and so that's what Healing Hands is about. It's about these seven pillars that are listed across uh, the bottom uh, of this document. Now, uh, so that's why doTERRA. Now, inside doTERRA, there's basically five different ways uh, that you can earn an income with your doTERRA business. The first, of course, is retail. And we don't spend a lot of time on this because this is really hauling buckets. Uh, but there's a 25% difference between the retail price and the wholesale price. So if you have a doTERRA account and you buy product and you market it at retail, somebody could purchase from you and there'd be about a 25% margin on that. Now, also you have, as a wellness advocate, you have a, um, a retail website. So if somebody purchases from a link that you've sent them, uh, then there'd be a 25% commission on somebody that makes a retail order from you. Now, I, have, I haven't really focused on that uh, very much uh, because, again, that's hauling buckets. That's not really a residual uh, aspect. Now, the next income stream. So each one of these is a separate income stream. So the next one is called the fast start bonus. And the fast start bonus is uh, uh, basically now money now. Uh, it, it's paid every week. Uh, it comes to those that run at least a minimum of 100 PV on their personal orders every month. Uh, it's, uh, it's paid on the volume of each new enrollment that you have for their 60 days. So if you enroll somebody today for the next 60 days, you would earn this fast start bonus. Um, if you enrolled somebody next year, you would earn for the next 60 days uh, on whatever volume they order. So the way that this works is if you have a personal enrollment, somebody that you've enrolled and you're the enroller on that person, you would earn 20% of whatever that person purchases for the next 60 days. Now, if they enrolled somebody else, then they would earn the 20% and you would earn the 10% on whatever their customer orders. And if, uh, if, that, if the next generation enrolls somebody, then that person would earn 20%, your person would earn 10% and you would earn 5% of whatever purchases happen for the next 60 days on that new account. And so this is a way to get your products paid for quickly uh, by simply sharing the products uh, with others uh, around you. And so that's called the fast start bonus. Now, the next bonus that's really important for uh, especially people that have started the business early is called the power of three. And the power of three is illustrated right here in uh, in this box on the lower uh, left side where it says minimum 600 OV. So basically this is what the power of three structure looks like. It's you run a hundred point order and you have three accounts on your front line that also run a hundred point order, a qualifying order, and that the cumulative total between you and your front line equals 600 P, uh, OV, in a, which is overall volume, in a given month then you would earn a $50 bonus. So you can see on this graphic here that if you have your th you and three qualified accounts, which means they run a minimum of 100 PV order, and that the total order volume of you and your front line, which means you'd probably have extra accounts there, equals 600 points, then you will get a $50 check. Now, if you help your three leaders get uh, their power of three, in other words, you help three teams earn their $50, then you will earn $250 every month that that occurs. 
Now, if you do that again to a third generation, so that uh, this blue line here all earns their $50, so you have nine accounts that earn their $50, then your three personal accounts will earn their $250 each, and you will earn the $1,500 bonus. And so that's called the power of three. It helps you uh, understand how to structure correctly so that you can earn the most or maximize the most from building your doTERRA business. And if you think about that in simple context, it's you finding three that can find their own three that can find their own three. And if you do that successfully, uh, then you would have a $1,500 a month uh, bonus that would occur in addition to all other pay streams inside your doTERRA business. And so this, uh, that's an exciting bonus, uh, it becomes really important and it takes a little bit of time to build that up. Uh, but once you have it, uh, you, you can see that between the fast start bonus and the power of three, it's pretty easy to get into some sort of revenue building your doTERRA business in a short period of time. Now the big, the big engine in doTERRA is called the Unilevel and it's a seven layer commission plan uh, that pays you based on your reoccurring customers. So customers that are beyond 60 days and for life, however long they stay with you, uh, based on the level you have them placed, will earn a percentage of their orders every single month. So in this model here, you can see that on level one, uh, you would be earning 2% uh, of all orders that, concur that occur in perpetual, uh, in long into the future uh, on that, uh, that account. Now, as your team grows, in this model, we're showing a three by three by three by three structure of people that order at least 150 uh, PV each month. So that would be a personal order of say 150. If you had three, basically three by three by three by three, at least ordering 150. This is what the income from the unit level would look like. And uh, now if you add the power of three to that, you can see how it increases the revenue on your top lines. Uh, so if I had the power of three and I had three people on my front line, I'd get the $9 plus the 50. Uh, second line, I'd have the nine people uh, and I, I get my 250 power of three bonus. I'm up around $300 a month. Uh, if I have three levels and I have 27 people on that third level uh, ordering uh, qualified and I get the third level of power of three, then you can see how that boosts your income up. Uh, along the way. And of course, if you had a full structure of seven, seven levels deep, three by three by three, and of course, it, it doesn't quite play out that beautifully, but, but still the numbers uh, would still time out uh, to about 30, uh, 32,000 a month from the unit level. Um, now the plan also has what's called a dynamic compression. And what that does is that ensures that the order volume is entering your seven levels of structure. So somebody in here is not actually ordering a full amount full 100 PV, for example, the accounts roll up to fill those spots so that you have 100 plus PV on each uh, level. That's how the dynamic compression uh, basically works. Now, it's, uh, it's, there's some technicality of it, but all you need to understand is that you, you basically get paid on the volume that's generated or the sales that are created inside your organization. Uh, and as you get into doTERRA, of course, we'll help you understand all the details of this uh, when you're being mentored along the way. Because um, in the beginning, all you need to know is if somebody buys oils, you get paid. And, uh, and so uh, we'll teach you how as you get more and more advanced. Okay. All right, this is what, uh, this is what uh, the fifth uh, level of, uh, or, or the fifth way that you get paid. Now in the beginning, you notice that I showed you a chart uh, that showed investment money and how much you would earn residually if you had X number of dollars invested. For example, if you had 1.2 million invested at 5% earning, you'd earn about $5,000 a month. So if you think about that, now this will help you understand the value of what I'm about to show you. So we have the global bonus pools. So every month, doTERRA takes seven uh, and a quarter percent of all revenue generated in any country throughout every account and they create these different leadership pools. Um, and there are six of them. Uh, in pool one, there's 1.25% of total gross revenue worldwide. In pool two, there's 2%. And then there's the diamond pools that have about 4% of total, total volume produced throughout the country uh, set up. 
in kind of a stock-like fashion. Uh, and basically what happens is you earn shares in these pools as you advance ranks in the company. So for example, uh, when you hit the rank of premier, uh, and you'll, you'll see that here in a minute when we show you the ranks, uh, then you would earn one share in the global empowerment pool. And that, that share is equivalent to about $190 a month. Now, when you advance to the rank of silver, for example, you would have one share in that empowerment bonus pool, so about $190 dividend from the company. And you'd also enter the leadership pool where you'd get another share in that 2% pool that you're sharing with some other ranks. And that dividend equals about $150. So you can see that as a silver, you would pick up a share and earn a dividend of $190 and a share in the leadership pool and earn another $150. So about, what's that, $340 uh, that you would pick up as a dividend from the company for all the sales that happen worldwide uh, just by achieving that rank. Um, now, once you hit diamond, then you get a share in the diamond performance pool that you're sharing with the three diamond ranks. And then each uh, each separate diamond rank has its own pool. So as a diamond, your dividend would be around $4,000 a month. Uh, as a blue diamond, your dividend monthly would be around $12,000 a month. And as a presidential diamond, it would be around $35,000. Uh, and I think it, it varies by month depending on how many people hit the pool or qualify for the pool. Um, but uh, I, I understand that it's running between twenty four dollars and $35,000 uh, a month currently. Um, so in either way, that's very significant. Uh, as a presidential diamond, for example, just your dividend alone from the company would be <laughs> around a quarter million dollars. Uh, so it's, so it's, it's really significant uh, either way, something worth working for. Now, here's how the ranks work. And you'll notice that each rank builds upon itself. In other words, it takes, it takes you achieving the rank and then helping others to achieve the rank in order for you to advance. So the first two building block ranks are executive and elite. Uh, executive is 2000 points in sales or basically $2,000 in sales. Elite is 3000 points uh, or sales generated in a month. And uh, now as an elite, we started to show what the income might look like. Uh, and that probably averages around $350. Uh, and you'll notice that a lot of it comes from the fast start and a little bit comes from the unit level, and some of it comes from power of three. Um, so if you're looking how, how somebody would earn at, at that rank. Now, you'll notice that in Premier, what has happened is that you've helped two of your leaders achieve the rank of executive, and you have an overall volume of 5,000 points. Now, the average Premier is earning around $876 a month. A uh, big chunk of that coming from fast start bonuses, meaning they're, you're actively enrolling people, uh, some from the power of three, some from the unit level, and some from these bonus pools. Now you're starting to earn a little bit of a dividend in the company. Then when you help three of your team members, uh, three of your leaders in three separate lines achieve the rank of elite, then uh, you become silver. And this is the first leadership rank, and you now you qualify for all of the compensation uh, plan. And uh, silver average is currently reported at about $2,350 uh, with a chunk of that coming from fast starts, some coming from bonus pools, some uh, more coming from the Unilevel now, and uh, power of three. So you're combining all these revenue streams uh, to get to these uh, averages. Um, then when you help your leaders advance to Premier, then you'll notice that a premier, of course, is over here. You've got to create two executives. So when your leaders start to help their leaders advance, uh, then you can achieve the rank of gold. And you can see that the gold level, you start to get into a pretty serious full-time income here. And it's made up, again, of a lot of uh, some fast starts, some power of three bonuses, uh, unit level, and the bonus pools. Uh, once you go diamond, you're helping four leaders achieve uh, a significant rank of silver. Average diamonds are running around 17,000 a month. A uh, big chunk of that is unilevel and some from fast start and bonus pools and power of three. Uh, blue diamond is when you help five teams go gold. And the average now is reported around 36,000 for blue diamonds. 
Um, and presidential diamonds have helped six teams achieve the rank of platinum. Now up here, you can see platinum is where you're getting into the six figure incomes. So basically when you've helped uh, six of your team leaders achieve six figure incomes, you go presidential diamond. The average now is reported at $107,000 a month, or you basically a seven figure income in the presidential diamond uh, field. And so this is how uh, the ranks uh, look and basically what average reported incomes are for these various uh, ranks. And of course, average means some make more and some make less. That's, that's okay, but this gives you an idea of how averages are uh, applied and how you could build up simply by helping others build a business uh, and share essential oils and helping more and more people live a healthy lifestyle. You can essentially grow your residual income, uh, which is a fantastic thing to do. Now, in terms of time expectation, uh, this is what we've noticed. And we've just kind of taken a, a survey across uh, our team and people that we know on how long it's taken them to achieve certain ranks with a certain amount of effort that they've applied to it. And what we've noticed is if people have between three and 10 hours a week to dedicate to their business, um, that it's possible in about three months or so to achieve the rank uh, of elite. Now, from that, we have noticed that if people aren't getting more serious about their business, it's very difficult to progress from this phase unless you're willing to um, make it more of a part-time concern. And so if you're willing to commit 10 to 30 hours a week, for example, uh, you see that you can start to break into these higher uh, ranks that produce more significant incomes. Uh, so maybe in the course of one or two years, for example, you could get uh, up into the being a solid gold, uh, per, you know, uh, putting in uh, these part-time hours. So maybe you have a full-time job or something like that, and you're building your pipeline business in the evenings, for example. Uh, and if you can dedicate uh, the energy and time and getting, you know, work, of course, we have mentoring, we have training, things like that. So when you start to build a business, you're not on your own, uh, per se. You have your enroller, uh, you have the team that your enroller is part of. There's lots of things to plug into. Uh, for example. Now, we have found that if people aren't uh, all in about this phase, that it gets difficult to grow beyond this stage. Um, so if you want to get into these platinum and diamond ranks, this is usually where you've decided to go full time, where you're using most of your energy to build your doTERRA business. Now, if you're doing that, you can get into these diamond ranks, you know, in one to three years um, and uh, get into these significant income levels um, uh, by dedicating more and more time and energy to building uh, your business. Um, in my personal journey, and this is not common, uh, you know, it wouldn't be typical results by any means, uh, but I achieved the rank of silver in four months. I went gold in six months. Uh, I actually skipped platinum and went diamond in 16 months. Uh, so that's basically how long it took me. I did put in, I, I did put a real concerted effort into it, which is something that a lot of people uh, haven't done. Uh, most people are trying to um, test the waters or something like that. I went all in. I just, uh, I started talking to anybody that would listen and I started sharing oils because I felt a sense of mission and purpose. I really knew what I wanted from this. Uh, and so as a result, I've helped many, many people succeed. I think we have over a thousand people that draw a significant check from doTERRA. Uh, on our team. And uh, so that I consider that an incredible uh, achievement and um, in lots of happy, free people. Uh, I, I think at one time I realized that I could go almost anywhere in the world and not have to stay in, in a hotel because of all the friends and team members that I have around the world. <laughs> and I, I thought to myself, some, some you know, be, people worry about being excluded uh, because you're building a business and uh, from people. And I, I found just the opposite. I found that I actually have more friends today than I've ever had in my entire life. And those friendships are deep and meaningful and we're actually helping people achieve their dreams. And that's uh, that's been rewarding, unlike anything that I've ever done uh, in the past. And so when you think about your doTERRA business, think about uh, what you want to achieve. Are you, are you just thinking small scale? It's just a sometime thing. You just want to share with people around you. Uh, maybe not having a lot of time to dedicate to it, just kind of some time. 
Uh, or are you thinking part-time where you really want to have that backup, that secondary income that's growing in the background, kind of like the woman that was hauling buckets uh, till she got her pipeline built? Do you want to be hauling buckets while you can build that pipeline? Or are you thinking, you know what, let's, uh, I have a sense of mission and purpose here. I want to help people become free. I want to help people improve their lives with these tremendous products. Uh, and we're looking at dedicating a significant period of time and really diving in uh, and making something great happen. Um, then if, if you think about that, then you can select basically how you want to start. And, uh, and, and when you make that decision, of course, then we would move you into the next step, which should be a quick start training uh, where we would teach you exactly what to do to uh, build your doTERRA business. So with that, um, that's our business overview, and uh, I hope that's been helpful and exciting for you. And I hope that you will take this information and have a serious discussion with whoever's invited you to watch this presentation. And uh, of course, if you'd like to reach out to me with any questions, uh, I can be emailed at rod.edgeteam at gmail.com, uh, and I'd be happy to answer any questions uh, for you. With that, uh, we'll wish you all a very happy and successful uh, life.